Schultz to the podium, and uh, our final speaker will be Ms. Dora Saxton. Mr. Schultz, the next three minutes are yours. Thanks, Chris. I come before you tonight as a dad of a student in the district, a new taxpayer to this district, and a member of this community. And I have to say that I'm very appalled. I'm quickly becoming aware that administrators and people who hold places in authoritative positions as well as the students are allowed to do and say whatever they want without any discipline. Whether it be a student who continually bullies other students, faculty and staff pushing their own political agenda in the classroom, or administration blatantly spreading misinformation, this community deserves much better. I can only imagine that you are all sick and tired of hearing me speak at these school board meetings. I ask you to understand that I wouldn't feel so compelled to do so if I felt that my voice was actually being listened to. It's barely even, it's hardly even being heard. To hear and to listen are two completely different terms that require two completely different means of actions. I hear a lot of kudos being given, but I have yet to hear any of you asking any difficult questions that need to be asked. How can we curb bullying in our schools? How can we make our schools a safer learning environment for the children? Perhaps the kudos encourage everyone to get along and vote together, referring to all the seven to zero and six to one votes, but giving kudos certainly isn't encouraging progress towards a better and safer school. After watching what has happened over the last few years, it's clear that this district needs a stronger team of leaders. This district has lapsed onto COVID tighter and longer than my three-year-old with her favorite stuffed animal. Every other school di district in the county has been able to proceed from a business as usual model since the beginning of this school year to which I wish this administration could have followed along with. No more excuses. That ship has sailed many moons ago. I hold myself to a very high standard of accountability and oftentimes become upset when others don't meet these standards. There is an awful problem with bullying, harassment, and physical altercations in our school. To the point, my nine-year-old son, who is in the audience today, has been bullied for over a month and nothing is being done about it. It seems as if teachers and administrators are afraid to discipline students as they rightfully deserve because this has become, those world has become soft and many people have such a strong sense of entitlement that doesn't exist. I have some very tough questions that I would like some answers for. Are you guys courageous enough to make a stand against these issues? Can you guys help contribute to a better and safer learning environment mentally, emotionally, and physically? Can you hold yourself and your colleagues to a higher standard? Or do you think there's a, a better fit with other people on the school board? I'll tell you what, if it, if it were me, I'd be up for these challenges. The real question is, are any of you 